Well, here we are at the Best Western Astor Metropole in Brisbane, which is once again demonstrating what seems to be a common principle in my travels these days. Namely, that whenever I book somewhere in Brisbane at the last minute and expect that it will be crammed and expensive, I actually always end up with somewhere that's really cheap, possibly slightly old, but has loads and loads of space. Far more space than I can use when I'm only here for a night, and that's always a bit annoying. The mere fact that we have an entrance hall will clue you into the fact that this is not really in the class of the minute hotel rooms that I find myself staying in so often. So it's a bit of a look around. Symbolically, we don't have the power thing. In fact, it always happens to me in Brisbane, this door needs an actual key. I'm not quite sure what all that's about. As we wander through, we come into the bathroom. Now, this is clearly an older style bathroom. It's clearly a cheaper bathroom because there are our dispensers for our soap and our shampoo. But on the other hand, it all looks reasonable. We qualify for the We've Got It Right Award by providing a sink plug. And we also qualify for the Clearly We've Downgraded a while ago by the fact that right here is a phone jack for using next to the bath, which is no longer actually in place. Now, they warn you when you check in here that you know, this is not a best Western room and you might ask for an upgrade, but frankly, I wouldn't bother because look at this. I've got a whole living room. I hardly ever get this. Now, it immediately has to be said that the desk here has no obvious power points. At first, I thought, blimey, it's going to be another one of these move the furniture or run down the battery scenarios, but in fact, that's not so, as we'll find out. We have a full-scale kitchen over here. We have plates, we have a microwave, we have an oven. None of which I'm going to be using. All a bit disappointing, but there you go. We have not one, but two enormous lounges. This lounge actually converts into a sofa bed, so in fact, I could probably sleep five or six people in here. I'm not going to. There are no orgies planned, but you never know. Now you can see there's an A to the day, there's an old telephone there, we have an old looking stereo down there, but then when we step into the separate bedroom, <laughs> we just go, no, we have a decent sized bed, another ancient stereo, no clock, normally something I've criticised them for, prepared to forget it this time, tiny little wardrobe in the corner here, hardly worth mentioning because I don't know that I'll unpack into it, but also handily we have another desk in here, and under this desk, if we look closely, we see that all important accessory of PowerPoint, so I think I'll be dragging a chair in here when I have to get around to the work in the morning. Anyway, when you book your hotel room at the last minute and you're a cheapskate, you normally know can't expect too much, so I'm very pleasantly surprised by this, and it may just move me down to this end of Wickham Terrace for future visits into Brisbane. We'll see.